Perfect. Super quick before we get into the tutorial, I'd like to say sorry about the band-aids on my fingers. I just went through and watched back the footage and it annoys me a lot, so I'm sure it annoys you guys a lot too. But I have band-aids on my fingers because I was making a bracelet earlier where you have to pull the strings super tight over and over again and it was a square knot so I had to do that with like both hands. So it like hurts my fingers so I just put band-aids on so that it doesn't hurt so yeah sorry for that now is when you determine the thickness of your bracelet depending on how many strings you use this one was made with two strings this one was made with four strings this one was made with six strings and this one was made with eight strings for this video I'm going to be using four strings because that makes the best thickness in my opinion they are all 40 inches each but if you have a smaller wrist I'd recommend using less Less inches and you can use four different colors but for the purposes of this video I'm just going to be using black and blue so now I've just gathered up all of the strings so I'm going to take the ends and meet them to make the loop and then I'm going to tie it just like you would with any other bracelet and then tape it down okay so I have it all taped down you're going to want to separate your strings so that one color's on one side, the other color's on the other side. So I'm going to take my left strings, which are blue, and fold them to make a four. And then you're going to hold your other color up, go through there and grab that and pull it tight. That is half of a forward knot. Then you're just gonna let go of your blue string, make a four with your black string. Go through here, pull the tail through, and go like that, and that was a backward, half backward knot. So then you're going to make a four, pull that through, and tighten it. And then make a backwards four, pull that through, and tighten it. Make a four, pull that through and tighten it. Make a backwards four, pull that through and tighten it. And you're just going to keep going until you get to the end of your strings. Okay, so I am done with my bracelet, like I've gotten it to the length that I want it at. So I'm just going to take a piece of tape and put it uh, farther down the bracelet and then make a regular knot. After you're done with it, I recommend putting like your fingers through the loops and holding onto this and pulling it tightly because it stretches out the bracelet a little bit. When you make it, it's super tight. So you just pull on it a little bit and it loosens it. I don't know what I'm trying to say, but after you have made it, just pull on it a little bit so that it does what it does. So I've just gone and trimmed up the ends. That is it. If you have any questions, make sure to ask down below. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Thanks for watching.